If you're looking for a small, compact screwdriver to either fit in your pocket, a small pouch, or something along those lines, this is your video. I'm going to show you 10 options that I've discovered over the last year that you might want to consider. Now about a year ago, I made a video on EDC screwdrivers, and it would go on to be one of my most popular videos ever. So I want to continue down that route with new things that I've discovered since then. These I've actually covered in a past video, and I'll put a link to that as well down below in the description and the pinned comment. And if you're looking for either these or any of the screwdrivers that you see, they will be part of the master list, and the new ones that we'll be talking about will also have individual links as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at 10 new screwdrivers that are different from the last video. When you're looking for small compact tools, one of the genres that you can take a look at is bike related. So these tools usually have to be quite small to fit into kits or they strap onto the bike itself. And so this is another example of that. This is made by Torpeak, which is a very popular brand of components for bikes. And it is fantastic. This little thing is amazing because it has so much built in. We have a ratcheting driver up here at the top and we have a standard screwdriver at the bottom. And what's neat is there's actually an aluminum, now this is aluminum shell, and when you press the button, you slide this off, you have access to five standard hex bits. So that's really cool that it holds it in place and when it becomes a handle when you need it. So I just absolutely love this thing. And then on top of it, it comes with this little sliding attachment that carries an additional set of five bits as well. So this is a really interesting piece. I don't know if this is as good for putting in your pocket per se, but when it comes to a toolkit, it's very compact, even if it's just this part of it. This is actually a really nice ratcheting screwdriver with five bits included. Nice form factor and definitely going to give you a lot of versatility as well. Now the next two I'm gonna to treat together. I have covered one of the fix-it sticks in the past videos, but these are two different styles that I think are worth considering for different reasons. The first one we're gonna take a look at, and I've had a brief video on it, is the ratcheting set. So it's a T-handle driver, but it actually has openings on multiple sides. So if you have it set up, you basically can quickly flip and access either high torque or you can have a ratcheting setup, which is quite awesome. So it has a little adjustment to determine the direction. And I actually have mine set up with a DeWalt extender so that I can actually put it around a screw so I don't have to hold the screw while I'm actually like tightening it in. But this works really, really, really well. It's made in Taiwan and actually has very, very good durability. And I love the, the way this thing actually stores bits. Not only do you have storage on both sides for standard hex bits. You also have some on the side. So this is where I keep an extra long T6 from Weha. And on the other side, I keep a four, uh, quarter inch socket adapter. So you have all of these different options in a very compact package. So whether it's in your pocket or in a small bag, these can be really, really useful. And I definitely recommend getting an extender like this one. It basically doesn't really change the dimensions of it, but it does, I think, help quite a bit in holding screws if you're pressing down very, very hard. That's been very important to me when using it so I don't shoot the screw off in some random direction. I do use this quite a bit and it's worth taking a look at. But if you are looking for something more pocket friendly, you can buy this set, which is also quite a bit cheaper. And this is gonna apply the maximum amount of torque because what it, what it does basically is you have two handles and you just simply slot them in and there's actually a magnet that holds it in place, allowing you to use it in any direction you want. So no matter what you do, you can access any of these four bits. So even if you don't have this and you just wanna carry these two items, they're incredibly versatile. I, I can't say enough, Fix-It Sticks have been a very impressive um, tool set and very, very compact, very easy to carry. And you can also slide off these plastic additions. So if you wanna hold those two together, but you don't want that extra dimension that happens with these orange parts, you can take those off. So however you wanna set it up, it's definitely an option. This also mounts, I believe, to a bike frame which is kind of was originally designed for, but frankly, I think it's fantastic as an EDC screwdriver and definitely highly recommended. 
Now in my last video, we talked a lot about pry tools slash screwdrivers. There was the Vero Engineering Fulcrum, it's still available. There's a bunch of others as well, but this is a new introduction and I really like the price point. So titanium pry tools under $50 with all of this functionality, it's very uncommon. So you have this door that actually has a ball detent and is actually quite secure. And inside are three double-sided four millimeter bits. Now the Hoto driver, which we've talked about in the past, is a way to source additional four millimeter bits that are double-sided like these. And it uses also a ball detent to hold in the bits on this side as well. So a nice way to do that without actually damaging it. When you have a magnet, the one problem is if you press too hard, you can potentially crack it. This doesn't have that issue. And so this is an inline screwdriver that has all the bits stored inside. And because of that rubber gasket at the bottom, it does not even rattle. So really like this design. You can find these on sale on Olight's website quite often. Look at that, no sound. And it's, I think it was on sale for Prime Day but even at the base price, it's still quite good. Definitely wait till you can find it on sale from Olight or at least wait till one of their sales so you can get the maximum discounts available and get a little bit more bonus. But still, I definitely think it's worth talking about and has a lot of different functions built into one small item. Next two are by a company called Wolf Tooth. Now, these are also in service of the bike industry, but I do tend to borrow quite heavily from their inspiration in compact tools, and these are great examples of small screwdrivers. So the first one is called the Encase, and it has a bunch of double-sided bits on, as long as along with some specialized tools for biking. However, it will work perfectly fine with standard four millimeter bits. And these little slots are big enough that they actually will fit that bit as well. So you can still use them. It just has a much higher density though with the bits that it already comes with. So if you can, try to minimize how many you take out, but it does work great with four millimeter bits. It's a little bit less true with this other one. Now, I'm not sure exactly about the name, but I love the form factor. Super, super slim, super compact. It has a magnetically attached door that hides six or six double-sided bits, so a total of 12. And the thing about this though that's worth mentioning is that these are actually a little bit shorter than the ones on this driver to allow to have all of these in one place. So you can definitely store either the double-sided bits from something like the, uh, where do we got? This one right here, just like the Hoto driver, you can take those double-sided bits and you can use them with this, but you're not gonna be able to fit six. You're only gonna fit three. So it is really good with the hex bits that it comes with. You can absolutely use it with standard hex bits. It's just a kind of a hybrid approach, right? The ones that it comes with are smaller, they're proprietary, but it can use non-proprietary components. And just like the last one, you can use it in line or you can use it at 90 degrees for maximum torque. I really like this design. The only thing that I'm not super keen on is I would love that magnet to be just a little bit stronger. Um, it is also, I guess also kind of a fidget toy now that I think about it. So kind of a neat design, very, very, very compact, very, very small. And uh, yeah, a great little EDC screwdriver or one for a toolkit that, well, is more compact than almost anything else that I have seen out there. Next is another screwdriver from O-Knife. Now this one I like quite a bit because it is so small and compact. And if we're comparing it to the prying tool, you can really see that. Let me pull in a couple more, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Even compared to the wolf tooth, it is very, very small. Maybe a little bit wider dimensionally, but certainly very compact. Absolutely keychain friendly. And inside are four, where's the last one? Get out of there. Four double-sided bits with those little stops to keep it from rattling as well. So this is going to give you quite a few options in a single screwdriver. And to cap it all off, there's actually a spot right here to allow you to use them in a 90 degree orientation. And it doesn't even interact with the keychain. So you can even leave this on your keys and still use it in all its capacity as a screwdriver. Now these are, once again, proprietary and it does have a magnet, 
But if you wanted, you could actually install a cylindrical magnet that would bring the spot up, which would allow you to use standard four millimeter bits, and then you can put four millimeter bits in here up to four. If you don't wanna do that, once again, you can source them from either the Hoto driver or the Work Pro, and both are going to give you additional bits if you wanna use them. So depending on how you wanna set it up, you can use high quality standard four millimeter bits. You can use these double-sided ones. Yeah, however it works for you. And this is a nice titanium keychain tool that, well, also looks pretty awesome if you ask me. I talked a lot about the Hoto driver, not just in the last screwdriver video, but I've actually used them quite a bit. They, they're all over the place. I have like five or six of them. And it's just when I'm looking for a screwdriver, it's a very quick reach and then I have it in my hands. And I found that the bits have held up pretty well. In addition to these, we've had a new company that has kind of jumped in with the same basic design, and that is from WorkPro. Now this also has 12 bits, basically the same bits in fact, as the Hoto driver, clearly targeting them. But this is actually cheaper most of the time. And it's actually because of these guys, I think that these have dropped substantially in price over the last year. At one point they were 30 bucks, and now they're back down to somewhere between 15 and 20. Both are good, keep an eye on them. I do think that the quality of the bits on the Hoto drivers is ever so slightly better. Maybe the heat treatment's a little bit higher, I don't know but the price is hard to argue with when it comes to the WorkPro. I've seen these as low as $10, definitely worth checking out, and it's a great toolkit or just spare uh, screwdriver that you can throw in basically anywhere. This might look a whole lot like a flashlight, but it's actually a screwdriver from CRKT. Now, I was introduced to this by Taylor Martin over in Best Am EDC, and it's a very compact and very functional screwdriver. So what you're gonna do is actually unscrew this right here and you're gonna access four bits, Phillips, Flathead, T6, and T8. Screw this back on. And then on the top side that was attached to the keychain, you actually have a spot to insert the bit and there's little indentations that actually will keep it from rotating. So this is not exactly designed for high torque, but will it get the job done? Yeah, it'll keep things from falling apart until you have some more substantial tools, or maybe you need to put some Loctite on that screw. This is a very compact solution, and when you set it up right, putting the bits in correctly, you will not hear the bits rattling as well. So nice design from CRKT, and definitely something I could easily recommend. Now in my last video about EDC screwdrivers, I did get a lot of comments about, oh, you should just carry a real tool. Well, you know what? I think at the very least we should explore that topic and I figured why not go straight to the top with probably the highest quality pocket screwdriver that exists in the world. And that is made by PB Swiss and uh, this is their ratcheting stubby driver. So there's a whole bunch of different stubby drivers out there. There's also a whole bunch of ratcheting stubby drivers. In fact, a couple more have come out since I purchased this one. But it's hard to argue that PB Swiss isn't one of the top creators of precision tools, well, anywhere in the world. Even these bits have a lifetime guarantee. So if anything happens to them, they will replace them without any issue whatsoever. And the thing I like so much about this is just the quality of the ratcheting mechanism. And the fact that, oh yeah, but this is the best. That's locked position. There is no play at all. Like absolutely solid as a rock. So if you're in the mood for buying a truly lifetime tool, this is an option for you. And the thing is, is I've checked it with other stubby drivers and it's actually quite a bit smaller in dimension this way than most of them. They tend to be very bulbous. And this actually was not that difficult from a dimension standpoint to carry in the pocket. What it is though, is quite a bit heavier than any of the other options because the mechanism is such a solid piece. Um, this is not a light tool by any stretch of the imagination, but it certainly gives you the impression of insane quality, which it is. So if you're looking for something that is truly a dedicated tool, this is a good option. And they make a whole bunch more that aren't ratcheting that will include in the master list as well. I had to point out this ultra tiny ratcheting screwdriver 
It is the smallest one on the table by a really big margin, and it is just super awesome. It actually has a surprisingly functional setup. It has a ratchet on one side that takes a standard hex bit, and on the bottom, you have the ability to use bits as well. Let me just pull one out here. You can see what I'm talking about. You absolutely can leave this attached to your keys with one bit installed, and you have a combination of a ratchet as well as a standard screwdriver. Now, I do think that it makes a little bit more sense to probably have longer bits for this. Um, you just have a little bit more purchase, right? You have something you can grab onto in your hand. But still, as a micro tool that is actually functional and has really good like fit and finish, this is made in Taiwan, I, I can't recommend this company and this product enough. Um, they also make a driver designed to fit in the uh, proprietary Leatherman bit holders that is similar to this with a ratchet as well that has been very popular and people really like. So worth taking a look at this one for sure because it is small enough to fit on basically any keychain and disappear. I really, really like it. It's reasonably priced and uh, yeah, super compact. The last one I have to show you is by the exact same company, 711L, except that these are designed a little bit differently and have different functionality in mind. There is an aluminum variant as well as a stainless steel one. And what this obviously is going to do is become kind of those lollipop style uh, drivers, which works very well if you're rotating quite a bit as these kind of just twist. But the thing about them, and one of their biggest problems, is that if you have to apply a lot of torque, it's going to be quite difficult. Not so with this. All you have to do is pull it out, flip it to one of the two sides, and now you have a high torque driver. So I would say this is more of a kit item than it is technically an EDC screwdriver. The big distinction for me is I want onboard storage for more bits, but you, you can't deny there's a lot of functionality. Oh, it's the magnet that's pushing it away. Now, these are really, really sweet, and the knurling is very, very grippy, so it's very easy to rotate. I mean, what's more to say? High quality, made in Taiwan, different materials, so different costs. The steel is gonna be a little bit more expensive, but both would be good considerations for a kit and uh, have a really unique function that, uh, yeah, gives it some versatility. Now there's one more and I almost forgot about it, but it is just so, so good. This is designed by Ben Peterson over at NAFS. Now it has a very good, very, very good spinning handle, which actually will let you rotate things quite quickly, but still has plenty of knurling for grip. The thing I like so much, and he talks about with the development of this tool, is actually the length. And because it is so short and so compact, it actually fits inside my wallet organizer from Anti-Gear Co., another really cool company out there. In fact, this exact kit is what I took with me when I went to Blade Show this year. It included a custom jet setter with a pen, and it also had storage for additional bits inside the Wazoo cash cap. So I always have this stuff around, and it was just fantastic. So I had this, I have a small little notebook from Right in the Rain. I know it's not exactly just the driver video, but the driver itself is fantastic. Now it comes with these elastic bands, but as you can see here, I don't know why they need to be there because it, it doesn't need them. The magnets are plenty strong enough. And just to get access, you just press down on one of the ends and it pops up and then you're good to go. And then you just slide it back in. And it comes with a flathead, a number six and a T6 and a T8. You can also get a bunch of other spare bits for this. These use really high quality Weeha bits. And uh, yeah, just a really good option. And I found out they are in fact on Amazon as well, which is really cool. Now, if you didn't see the screwdriver you were looking for, there's a whole bunch more in the master list. Also of note is that the Steelman driver, which is actually a budget version of the Big Idea Designs, is back in stock, or at least it was at the filming of this video. There's going to be a lot of these things linked down in that master list, and over time, I will continue to update it and add more. Now, this video is actually part of a series of videos where we cover different categories of EDC gear, and if you want to see the others, there's a playlist right over here. As always, thank you for your time.
and we'll talk again soon.